Okay, let's take a closer look at the Bye Bye Miss American Pie song here. And get ready for this. Notice that I got Shinar right here. And, you know, remember everything I've said so far about all this. And then the whole other video series. I mean, really, remember all that. This can be shown to you without a doubt. We're going to take a real nice look into this. So we see this generation lost in space. Of course, that's Generation X. Not the X that you guys think. You are the ones that are being X'd out. This is a super prestigious Elites that were seeing themselves with the uh, sign of the X, Osiris, even Saturn, if you will, esoterically. So it says, with no time left to start again, so come on, Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick, Jack Flash, set on a candlestick. Who's Jack? Is Jack a man? Or is Jack a woman? Is Jack ac actually Jashin? Yeah. Jack is Jashin. The one that is sitting on that wickedness from Zechariah 5. Let's take a close look here at the Strong's Concordance. We see... Will establish, as I said, that's what Jashin means. And then another spelling is Jackin. Look at that. Jackin. Name of one of the pillars, Jashin. Jackin, right there. One of the pillars. Okay, so now we know that Jack. The jack that's supposed to be nimble and the jack that's supposed to be quick is this Jashin column that is seeing itself as the false bride. But they're not too bright, as we see. So come on, Jack. Be nimble, Jack. Be quick. Jack Flash set on a candlestick. Now check this out. The Flash is when we have the fire that comes from the sky, which is the arc electricity, which now symbolizes this arc of Noah that they think that they're going to go into. And as we're beginning to teach them, the overwhelming majority of them don't. They're being used. So this Jack Flash now is that flash of light that in a sense they're trying to imitate from Jesus Christ's words. He says, a flash of lightning. It would be, his arrival would be like a flash of lightning that's seen from one part under heaven to the other. It will be like that. In essence, this is them trying to form that out and to make it appear that they're going to fulfill this prophecy as they themselves, okay, how they see fit. Jack Flash set on a candlestick. Now, this is when we see that Rev 12 is declaring this woman that has got this child. Well, that child is that lit candle. And we already saw Jesus Christ talk about it in the book of Luke. That was hid under a bushel basket, right? Baby in a basket. Bun in the oven. As we know, this is the baker of the Trinity of the butcher and the candlestick maker. It's going to be interesting when we talk about who the candlestick maker is. Real interesting. Because they already gave us that information in the movie. By the code of what he was doing. Talking down about him. Real interesting. Real interesting. So this business about the butcher, guess where this is being symbolized as being the whole time? The moon. That's right. These are the ones that are going to and fro from all over the earth. This is that singular eye that is utterly darkened. This butcher is the high end of Ephraim that is going to and fro from the moon back and forth. All these are hoping to get there. And then we know that the candlestick maker has been working down here in Ephraim's other field, his other pasture land. And this is what CERN is doing. That's the candlestick maker. That's what Leo, Nardio, Leo, this is the candlestick maker right here. And this will be CERN as they've already linked them up in the movie, uh, The Da Vinci Code, with Jesuit ordered priests and what have you 
and then as he calls them Roman potpourri nonetheless as I said they're all a trinity it's that empire that empire of the black sun London District of Columbia and then Rome the papacy okay and then this is what that represents right there that's the candlestick makers these are the ones that have been scientifically discerning this word trying to create a kingdom and its king through observation of which jesus christ said the kingdom cometh not with observation for the kingdom of god is with inside you they think that they're going in through the outdoor in all actuality they're going out through the indoor they're focusing the wrong way and we're going to prove that further so we see here that jack is going to sit on the candlestick. Now you got to remember in the movie, she's having relations with this guy right here. In other words, the Jack is sitting on the candlestick once it's ready to hide it in her bushel basket, right? Whoa. Whoa. Exactly right. So we go to Zechariah 4 and we find out all about these Zura Babylonians, okay, that are supposed to be completing this temple. And I told you the temple has nothing to do with this Jerusalem temple and the physical has everything to do with a body temple. Jesus Christ said the body is the temple. So the spirit of truth has led us correctly, line per line, stage by stage. Now we understand it all. So these are Babylonians are the ones that are supposed to finish the restoration of the temple, okay? Which is to light this candlestick, all right? And we see these eyes of the Lord, which are running to and fro through the whole earth. They're running to and fro from the moon. These special group of illuminated eyes. And as we see here, it's only a seven select group of these special illuminated eyes that are coming to and fro from the moon. And then we see basically the situation with the candlestick being draped now by these two then answered i and said unto him what are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side thereof we got to understand here it's really not olive trees it's really the branches that are that are hoping to be planted back so they've been torn off and now they're hoping to be planted back somewhere else so they're torn olive branches is what we see here and then these torn olive branches actually are going to represent mammon and we'll look into that they're going to represent mammon just pay attention here for a second what are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side of the candlestick thereof and i answered again and said unto him what be these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves. And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then said he, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. The Lord of the whole earth is that lidded, lidded candle that Jesus Christ is talking about in the book of Luke that they're trying to hide under a bushel basket. Okay? Now, pay attention here. These be the two olive branches, as I said. They're not trees. They're ripped off portions of it that are hoping to become trees. Okay? And of course, this sprouting is supposed to be done on the dark side of the moon. Which, which, through, the two, which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side of the candlestick? two olive trees now check it out i told you the candlestick was here but once the once jashin sits on the candlestick it's hid here and then now we see the two anointed ones that are pouring the oil into here that's exactly that's exactly what's going on Everything I just told you by the spirit of truth, the power and glory of Jesus Christ. Praise him. Praise him. So then this judgment comes, which is that sacrificial fire, right? Okay. And 
Interesting. Interesting. Now we know where the candlestick is hidden. Now we know where the candlestick is hidden. Fire is the devil's only friend. Well, we see who's got the friend of fire. So incredible. I mean, I could I could really lay that out and they know that I can. And then this we go to Zechariah 5. The flying roll is the judgment, which is the millstone, okay? Which is what I've got drawn, that it's some sort of rocket-like thing coming from the moon that these people know that Jesus Christ gave me over 20 years ago now. They know it. They know it. Everything about it has astonished them. Absolutely astonished them. But yet they see it all backwards. So now we see about this woman that's supposed to be lifted up. This is an ephah that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead. There's your song. And this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. And he said, this is wickedness and cast it into the midst of the ephah. And he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. What was the wickedness that was put into the ephah basket? Huh? Baby in the basket. What was the wickedness? It's what the candlestick maker has been working on. Got her to set on it. Now it's in her. Baby in the basket. Yep. But yet, they're making you think a whole different scenario, as I told you, with this redhead propaganda. And really, we see, as I said, this is Israel. This is the Black Widow. This is Ishtar. This is Mystery Babylon. This is the Harlot. This is confusion, but not any longer. The followers of Jesus Christ are not confused. Whew. Incredible. So, so they're being lifted up, okay? They're being lifted up, symbolizing the stork, Nekbet and Wajet. This is wickedness. That's what the candlestick maker's been working on. The ephah is the basket. Now let's read down here so that you understand what I said was entirely correct. In the vision of the ephah, local and prophetic elements are to be distinguished. The elements are an ephah or measuring. Now remember, Jesus Christ said Satan seeks first to sift the wheat. A woman in the ephah, a sealing weight upon the mouth of the EFAT. Well, if you're going to go into space, you got to be sealed. We see that they're sealed with lead, right? Because these birds, helter skelter in a summer swelter, the birds flew off with a fallout shelter. Every bit of this is about the book of Zechariah. The Jack is the Jashin. But as we see, a great majority of this bride ain't going nowhere because of mammon. And you'll just have to see it. You'll just have to see it. A sealing weight upon the mouth of the ephah, confining the woman and the stork-winged women whose only function is to bear the ephah and women away into Babylon. Into Babylonia, Shinar. As I said, Shinar is a new capital of Babylon. Shinar means shining one. It is this moon, sin, in which Jesus Christ said, He who was without sin, let him cast the first stone. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, we've done our best to give you guys the truth of every bit of this. And we see that none of you have counted every bit of this as a strange thing because you look in, in a mirror at everything backwards. The thing thus symbolized was through all the land. Symbolically, a measure or a cup. And this is where the Spirit has been telling me to call this a cup, as in the second cup for over two years. Stands for something which has come to the full. What did Enoch say? He said, until the consummation of their crimes come to the full. Seventy times sevenfold which is just under 40,000 years. 
That's how long it's taken them to gestate this dark knowledge and mingle it into the seed of men so that it could fruit this cockatrice which they're trying to bear in our world and they've been tricked. A woman in the it says symbolically a measure or a cup stands for something which has come to the full so that God must judge it. God is going to judge this cup that has come to the full. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Not them judging us as we see, but we see in reference this judgment is being brought back to them. A woman in the bad ethical sense is always a symbol of that which is religiously out of place. Sacred feminine. Mystery Babylon. Certainly out of place here on the dark side of the moon, is she not? Running off with a candlestick up her Yahoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much out of out of place if you're going to call yourself some sort of uh, virgin. A woman in the bad ethical sense is always a symbol of that which is religiously out of place. The woman in Matthew 13, verse 33 is dealing with doctrine. Is dealing with doctrine, a sphere forbidden to her. In Thyatira, a woman is suffered to teach. The Babylon phase of the apostate church is symbolized by an unchast woman, Saturn, the synagogue of Saturn. Go watch the Saturn Tears fractal video sodden with greed and luxury of commercialism as i told you they are bringing those luxuries they're sodden with that green that greed they're bringing it all to the dark side of the moon they are decked with jewels so to say but it's all vanity it's all convoluted bs straight up so many of you i've, I've pretty much skipped around over all this because many of you you know if you're agents watching this you're supposed to already know all this stuff right Okay, and then if you're sincere and have been watching my videos, you should have already seen this information shown to you over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. We know who is telling the truth here. We know who is seeking to hide more than a candlestick up their Yahoo. You get me? You know, you got to realize it. How much longer are they going to allow me to speak freely? That's the question, because we know that Jesus Christ wants me to get as close as I can to them. So close that he will be able to speak to them through me. And that's exactly what the scriptures say. If you guys don't know him, if you guys want to curse me down for it, I'll re-inform you of what the prophecy is. Because I know it well. Real well. So, the last will be first. And the first will be last. All of you children that are children of these Masons, you must realize, I am telling you without a doubt, that there is much treachery. And I'm going to tell you, it does not mean that everybody that is a Freemason is evil. Most absolutely not. Because I'm sure that the overwhelming majority of not just Freemasons, but other people within these mystery religions, they really have no idea what the implications are here. And this is why Jesus Christ has already promised the righteous resurrection. Read, read Revelation chapter 11 about the bodies that are left to sit for three days. Then they're resurrected. That's on the moon. That's on the moon, friends. That is on the moon. I'm telling you, remember it's that new Sodom, it's that new Egypt, which they have prepared for a sacrifice, but yet it's the facade in New York. We see that their new Shinar, their new Babylon, their new Sodom is on the dark side of the moon. Therefore, all of the overwhelming prophecies of the destruction of that place is taking place on the dark side of the moon, and they don't even realize it because they've been looking into a mirror with vanity and self-righteousness, all to try to gain the world built to top a lie. It don't make no sense. It's time for it to come down. Wait till you guys see the next video and we talk about this mammon and you see something about the word electricity. I'll be back.